Hi, my name is Don Griffin, and I'm an engineering director at Sencha. Today we're going to talk about EXTJS. EXTJS, or XJS, is Sencha's flagship JavaScript framework. It provides all the tools you need to create amazing user experiences. XJS consists of multiple packages, such as charts, data management, application architecture support, as well as two visual toolkits optimized for creating mobile and desktop experiences. Unlike many frameworks, XJS takes a different design philosophy called JavaScript first. This means that the unit of reusability is JavaScript in the form of classes and components. XJS components are conceptually similar to HTML elements. To see the similarities, we'll consider a simple element, a button with OK for the text. The mapping from an element to a configuration object is sometimes very simple, as in this case. For example, the body text of the button is moved to the text property of the config object, and the tag becomes the X type of that object. That is a complete button configuration. Let's look more closely at this configuration object. We can see that X type contains the component type. The framework contains many component types you'll find useful, such as grids, trees, combo boxes, and many others. The text property here is called a configuration property, or simply a config, in this case with the value of OK. Configs are specific to the type of component that you've chosen. In this case, a button has a text config, but a grid or a tree would have many different configs. All components have some common configuration options, such as hidden and disabled, things of that nature. Just as HTML elements can be contained within other HTML elements, components can be put inside of containers. In this case, a button supplies a useful config called menu. The menu config is used to create a menu component. This component acts as a container for items, in this case, menu item components. We can see here the power of the JavaScript first approach, where these types of components can be seamlessly composed inside each other. To see the XJS button component in action, I'm going to launch fiddle.sensha.com and start adding the code we have so far. We're going to call the xcreate API. xcreate is a method that takes configuration objects and creates component instances for us. Next, we're going to add to this object the x type of button and the text value of OK, then the menu with both of our menu items. We have one more step, which is to tell XJS where I want this button to render. In this case, I want the button to render on the document body. Now we're going to run the code and we'll see the button appear to the right. As I click on it, we can see the menu appear and the two menu items below. To go even further, I'm going to add a submenu to one of the menu item components. We'll see that this menu item acquires a submenu of its own. As you've seen, XJS makes it simple to combine components in a variety of ways. The limits are basically whatever you can imagine. Please visit us at www.cintra.com to find out how we can further support your development efforts. We are eager to partner in your success.